Welcome again, viewers and subscribers, to Life with Jennifer. Please remember to subscribe if you are viewing this channel for the first time. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I go live or I upload a video. Alright, this story today is about the Westmoreland burnt victim. If you remember the story of where the house burnt down and the three youngest boys lost their life in the fire and the sister was airlifted to the United States in Atlanta. She has undergo 17 surgery. Yes, viewers and subscribers, God is still good and God still work miracles. She has undergo 17 surgeries and according to the the news she lost the lower leg she has lost the lower leg and she has gone through several skin graft treatment repair the 13 year old westmoreland native who suffered severe burn in a house fire that claimed the lives of her three younger brothers in september is doing well and is in high spirit. Dr. Zahid Hassan, the president of the Augustus Georgia based Joseph M. Stillburn Center and head of the medical team that performs young Adriana 17 surgery, gave the update today at a press conference by Zoom. He stated, when she came, we start working right away and all work together. We had seven surgeon and three pediatric person and Adriana went through a total of 17 surgeries, including skin grafting, as son explained. Even though Adriana lost her left leg below the knee, and some fingers on the right hand. I think she is going to be fully functional. That is awesome news. At least her dad can have something to. And I think he's just gonna just. She's gonna be his best friend. At least she survived. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father Adrian Lane told the briefing that his daughter is steadily improving and voiced gratitude to all parties that make the treatment possible. The teenager medical care was sponsored by the foundation of Samira Foundation in partnership with the Jamaican diaspora government and other interest group. So this is a good, this is, this is, this is awesome news. This is awesome, awesome news. And let us continue to pray for Adriana that God will give her a speedy recovery. She, she will be a testament, a testament to prove that God is good and that he's still a miracle work in God. And when it seems like there is no hope, or when it seems like all is lost, glory to God. We have an anchor that keep our souls steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. God bless you and remember to subscribe. The Life with Jennifer J.M.